Good afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into Blanchard Woods Park in Evans, Georgia, for semifinal number four of semifinal Friday, featuring the final men's semi between third seeded North Georgia Nighthawks and the second seeded Young Harris Mountain Lions here in Evans. Walker McCreary high above the field as these two rivals get set to go at it for a second time this year and the first one was a dandy up in Young Harris on the northern side of Blood Mountain. The Nighthawks scored an early goal and had to weather the storm throughout. Young Harris finally evened it up late in the second half and a 103rd minute goal for the Mountain Lions gave Young Harris the win and the point so far in the Battle of Blood Mountain that these two rival schools participate in every year. Of course, if North Georgia were to earn a win here tonight, the point would be split between Young Harris and North Georgia. Young Harris currently if result if Young Harris were able to get the win here tonight, Young Harris would lead North Georgia in the annual rivalry. Two to nothing. So a very important game on multiple levels for the Nighthawks. The Nighthawks never having been to the Peach Belt Tournament final. This is their second consecutive year in the semifinal. And the second consecutive year they've taken on Young Harris in this semifinal. Young Harris is a two-time defending conference tournament champion. But this is the first year that an automatic qualifying or an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament is up for grabs. And North Georgia needing to get to that automatic bid to get in as they are unranked in the region poll so far this season. They come in at 9-7. and seven. Overall, 5-2 and two in the Peach Belt Conference. Young Harris 11-2-2 two two on the year. Number 12 in the nation. They are 5-1-1 one one in the Peach Belt Conference as the starting lineups being announced here in Evans at Blanchard Woods Park. Lander the first team to punch their ticket into the... Championship match Sunday at 3.30 by virtue of a 5-1 win over the Lakers of Clayton State in the first of these two semifinals. For the Nighthawks, Matt Sharman going to be in between the posts for Coach Pat Paris. He was the first team all-conference goalkeeper also on the first team for the Nighthawks. Number 22, Ivan Achimovich. And number eight, Daniel Bennett, both in the starting lineup. Young Harris will put Alex Iglesias in between post. 6'2", goalkeeper, the sophomore from Spain, transfer from Marymount, California University. As you see, the Nighthawks in their road gray kits. And Young Harris in their home whites with the purple shorts. The coaches giving their hands. And we are about set for the final semifinal here in Evans. As both teams looking to punch their ticket into Sunday's championship match. North Georgia season on the line. Young Harris looking to defend the tournament championship for a third consecutive year. The remaining starting 10 for both teams, starting with North Georgia. On the defensive back four, it'll be Jordan Day, Daniel Bennett, and Daniel Joyce. Midfielders consist of Michael Akin, Ivan Achimovich, Adam Farrell, Carl Ludwig Erickson, and then the forwards up top will be Alex Grant and Gabriel Garcia. Garcia, the second team all-conference player for North Georgia. For Young Harris, they're starting 10. 
Other than Iglesias in between the post, number three, Macaulay King, number four, Sam Jones. Number five, Marlon Montanella. Number six, Danny Fisher. Number eight, Val Fini. Number nine, Mikey Rowe. Number 10, Marco Micheletto. Number 14, Seba Andreasen. Number 15, Alex Jack. And number 17, Josh Poole. Alex Grant will have the first touch. The opening whistle, and we are underway in semifinal number four as Farrell tries to play it over the top to get an attack started for North Georgia. Playing it all the way back to the first team goalkeeper, Matt Sharman. In these two teams, a 2-1 decision in double overtime back on September the 27th. Both teams having changed a lot in that time period. Young Harris playing it all the way back. It's Sam Jones playing it over the top, trying to get it out wide on the left side. Trying to pick on Evan Davis for the Nighthawks. Ball being played on the Young Harris side of things. Coming out wide to Montanella. And Montanella will work it back to Sam Jones. Alex Grant giving a lot of pressure. And here comes Garcia quickly to pressure Iglesias. Settled by Andreasen. And now Andreasen going upfield, avoids the tackle. Going in to the box, and great defense played by Jordan Day to stop Seba Andreas and the freshman from Norway. But Young Harris again earning possession. North Georgia did a lot of weathering the storm in that first matchup after going up one to nothing. The Mountain Lions put a lot of pressure on the back four for North Georgia. Eventually resulting in two Goals, one in the 103rd minute. Dan Bennett tries to send it up field. It's settled by Macaulay King, and Young Harris will again try and go up the left side. A bad pass comes down to Michael Akin, and now Bennett will work it up the field. Davis will be called for the foul. Had a shoulder in the back. So the first foul of the game. Just three minutes into semifinal number four. Third seeded North Georgia coming in. Off a 4 nothing win over the sixth seed, USC Aiken in the quarterfinals on Tuesday. Young Harris getting the bye into the semifinals by virtue of the number two seed. Long free kick sent in. It'll be a corner kick awarded to Young Harris. The 6'3 freshman Andreasen setting up shop right in front of the net. Danny Fisher, freshman from Austria, will take it with the left foot. Here's the end swinger toward the back post, headed straight up and out of play. A goal kick as the North Georgia Nighthawks avoid what was really a good corner kick by Danny Fisher. Matt Sharman will boot it away. 
Charmin, the junior transfer from Sandwich, England. He transfers in from Parkland College. It's North Georgia trying to hold it up top. Unable to, and Sam Jones sends it back to Iglesias, who's been nothing short of stellar for the Mountain Lions this season. Akin gets it up top, but Garcia was offside. They keep the flag down as Garcia let it roll past him to Iglesias. Iglesias, Grant, and Achimovich up top for the Nighthawks, trying to put pressure on the back line. The header all the way back to Sam Jones. Now Akin finds Achimovich out wide. Dan Joyce will have a go, curving in, and it's just over the crossbar. A dangerous shot. From the left back, Daniel Joyce, senior from Essex, England. North Georgia trying to put the early goal on the mountain lines and then a bad goal kick, Iglesias. Sends it out of play as he had to come well outside the 18. North Georgia going to start sending some numbers forward. Their opportunity to put a little pressure on. Ludwig Eriksson deflected that one back in play. It'll be a Throw in for the Nighthawks. Now Young Harris earns possession. Achimovich, or rather that's Garcia giving a lot of pressure for North Georgia. Forcing the long ball. It comes up to Andreasen. Now Alex Jack going to work it up the near side. Jack gets past Dan Joyce. Achimovich trying to earn possession. Clearance. First one was missed, but Evan Davis able to send it out toward midfield and give North Georgia the opportunity to set a higher line. Sam Jones draws the foul from Alex Grant. Jones will take the free kick, letting white jerseys get forward. He'll Send it in toward the top of the 18. Andreasen gets ahead on it first. And a shot taken by Val Feeney goes well over everything. It'll be a goal kick for Matt Sharman. Both teams have had opportunities at the net. North Georgia with the best one so far. Charmin preparing to take the goal kick, and he sends it away. Flicked on by Ludwig Eriksson, the junior who will graduate from North Georgia this year. From Uppsala, Sweden. Winner of Peach Belt's Elite 15 award last, at last night's banquet for the men's Soccer teams here at the Peach Belt Conference. Going up to throw it in is Macaulay King. Neither team in much of a hurry is. This game has already been very physical. Macaulay King will take the long throw. And Sharman will stay on the near post. Andreasen slow to get up for the Mountain Lions, and the clock will stop with 35-44. Sharman checking on 
the freshman Andreasen. And the trainers have been waved on it. Gives an opportunity for the Nighthawks and the Mountain Lions to get a sip of water and get their legs back under them. It's been a very physical 10 minutes. As Ivan Achimovic for North Georgia trying to, I guess it was a head-to-head -head contact between the senior Achimovic and the freshman Andreasen is see Achimovic getting cleaned up by North Georgia's training staff. No score. Nearly 10 minutes into this one. Of course, Lander winning 5-1 to one in the first men's semifinal on, and advancing to Sunday's 3-30 final. On the women's side, UNC Pembroke upset top-seeded North Georgia 1-0 by virtue of a second-minute goal from Alexis Pittman, and then Columbus State gets past Flagler 3-1 to set up a 1 o'clock final on Sunday between the Cougars and the Braves. Andreasen back to his feet, walking off under his own power. A number of mountain lions warming up to our left. Gustavo Alansar for North Georgia checking in for Achimovic as they continue to work on Ivan. Alansar, the freshman from Sao Paulo. Young Harris going to make a substitution as well. Mehdi Hidani, the junior from France will step on for the Mountain Lions. North Georgia puts the ball back into play and working quickly up the far side, headed back by Josh Poole to Iglesias. And Iglesias puts it down to his center backs. And now trying to work it upfield quickly with the long ball. Atkins steps in. Garcia trying to earn possession for North Georgia. And a foul going to be called on the Nighthawks. A lot of speed up top for North Georgia with Akin and Garcia on the right side. And the ball never came to rest. So they're going to make the Mountain Lions redo the free kick. The ball put back in play. Working it around are the Mountain Lions. Sam Jones will try and send it up. Farrell steps in, the captain for North Georgia. And another foul called on the Nighthawks. Quickly taken, Macaulay King, a bad free kick by the junior, and North Georgia comes up with it. Akin working it up the middle of the field. Tries to chip it through. It comes through to Alex Grant. Grant with an opportunity, and North Georgia leads it one to nothing. Alex Grant, the junior from Wolverhampton, England. 
with 33.55 to play, and North Georgia's got a 1-0 advantage as they score early for a second game against the Mountain Lions. Akin with a beautiful pass all the way through, and it finds the feet of Alex Grant. So North Georgia leading it one to nothing, and the last time that the Nighthawks led this early against the Mountain Lions, Young Harris started putting a lot of pressure immediately. North Georgia weathered as long as they could. Day sends it downfield toward Garcia. It's headed along by Sam Jones. Out wide now, here's Alex Jack. Macaulay King finds a wide open Feeney in the middle, but Akin comes back from his high position. Flicked on by Garcia for North Georgia, but Montanella able to settle it for North Georgia, and a Glacius free kick comes to Farrell. Grant with a good touch. Garcia giving chase, but he's not going to get there. Sam Jones was shielding him off. Garcia 5'7", Sam Jones 6'2". A big size advantage between those two. It'll be an interesting matchup throughout the night. Joyce finds the head of Grant. And a foul called on North Georgia. It'll be another opportunity for Young Harris with a free kick. Garcia off. The North Georgia players on the bench as Garcia waited there. Grant was coming up, but the whistle was blown before Grant could get a touch on it. Joyce steps in, it'll be a mountain lion throw. It's Alex Grant's 10th goal of the year in the 12th minute. Young Harris working it around on their defensive four, now sending it up top, trying to get it up top to Mikey Rowe. But the Nighthawks weather it and now start a counterattack. Farrell with a great touch, trying to get it to Gustavo Alansar, but a little strong for the freshman to get to it. Mark McKeever for Young Harris, trying to Get his team to wake up a little bit more after the first couple of minutes where Young Harris put a lot of pressure on the Nighthawks. It's been UNG putting a lot of pressure on. Charmin comes off his line extremely well. We're almost 15 minutes through this second semifinal. The winner gets a date with the regular season champion Lander Bearcats on Sunday. Now here's Adam Farrell looking to get it to Gustavo Alansar. Now Garcia pushed off the ball, but he gets it back. But a whistle was blown and the foul called. So Dan Bennett will tee it up, so to speak. Get ready to take the free kick and send it in. He's got a lot of 
teammates forward. Toward the top of the 18, Young Harris gets the first touch on it, but running after it is Grant. Be a North Georgia throw. Ivan Achimovic now wearing 32. Seba Andreasen checking back in. Of course, both of those came out by injury, so they can come back in in the first half. Normally, you would not be able to re-enter in the first half. Jordan Day gets ahead on it to stop the counterattack from Young Harris. Now Evan Davis trying to keep it in play. He'll be able to. Looking on that far side. And here's Akin. Couldn't get past the Young Harris defender. But North Georgia earning the throw in on the far sideline. 17 minutes in, Nighthawks. A picture-perfect start for Coach Pat Paris, one to nothing, and a foul called on North Georgia as they've tried to be physical and make this game ugly and slow it down. Free kick sent in, trying to target Andreasen. He flicks it on. But Sharman comes off his line and stops the attack. Sharman rolls it out to Dan Bennett, who sends a rocket downfield trying to find Ludwig Erickson. Now Iglesias puts it out wide. Ivan Achimovic gets a touch. Is he going to be able to keep it in? No, he's not. It'll be a young Harris throw, but deep in their defensive territory. Andreasen heads it along twice, but Dan Bennett steps in. Sends it away for a second. Val Feeney got the touch on it to deflect it off of a Nighthawk. Micheletto trying to keep it for Young Harris, but it gets sent back all the way to Josh Poole. Poole trying to get it up top, trying to play that long ball. And Sharman delays picking it up for a moment. Sharman boots it high into the air. Headed back in by Macaulay King. Yeah, Young Harris throw, quickly getting it in is Montanella. Sam Jones working it across to Josh Poole, North Georgia. Putting pressure on those two center backs. But they've had great services trying to get it up top to Andreasen. Bennett and Jordan Day for North Georgia have definitely got their hands full with Saba Andreasen. North Georgia touches it before it goes out of play. Long throw, Akin gets the first touch and comes back down to his feet. He got the assist on Alex Grant's 10th goal of the year. Ivan Achimovic keeps it in play, trying to work against Alex Jack. Ground ball to the corner of the six. It's taken by the Mountain Lions. They start an attack with Micheletto. A great touch from Marco. Dan Bennett coming over and 
a picture-perfect slide tackle from the first-team all-conference defender to stop the counterattack and allow for the guys in gray and blue to get back in defense. Sent out wide, Alex Jack, low ground ball, corralled by Jordan Day, and now Ivan Achimovic sends it up top. Josh Poole works it to Macaulay King. Now here's Andreasen. Out wide, trying to get it to Jack, and he does. Joyce misplayed it on defense. Alex Jack crosses it over, and a shot goes just wide from Marco Micheletto as Young Harris had a great opportunity at goal with 23 and change. Dan Bennett and Saba Andreasen playing hard and a whistle from our lead official and some talking and jabbering between these two heated rivals. Be a free kick for Young Harris when it's all said and done. As our center official and alternate official have a word. Sam Jones will be the one to take it with 22-10 left in the opening period. Both teams even for the most part in every statistic. But the score, the lone one that matters. Michael Akin giving pressure. The cross comes in to Dan Bennett. He's able to clear it upfield. Back across midfield, sending it back in. Sam Jones looking for Andreasen, who flicked it on nicely, but Bennett right there. North Georgia trying to sit in and counter up one to nothing. And a foul called, a hard foul, and Adam Farrell slow to get up as he was hit in the back of the head. Farrell still down, holding the back of his neck as the training staff for North Georgia comes out to check on him. 21-14, and this game has been physical. We expected it to be physical between these two rivals, the two closest schools in the Peach Belt geographically. Go over a mountain, and you're pretty much in the other's backyard. So Farrell will have to come off for a moment. So Sharman will take the free kick and Farrell will get to come right back on. Farrell hustles back on as Young Harris works to gain possession. And they do so. Macaulay King sends it upfield. Now Andreasen on the far sideline. Ball sent high in the air. Bennett marking the freshman from Norway. And Young Harris again earning a throw in.
Trying to decide who wants to take it. It'll be Hidaney that will trigger it. Crossing it in, back post, and the Nighthawks will just let it roll out of play. Sharman puts the ball back in play quickly. Here's Jordan Day, who is hit hard with the shoulder, and Andreasen, the clock is stopped, and our official goes to his shirt, pulls out a card. It will be a yellow given to Saba Andreasen. As this game has been extremely physical, we mentioned a number of fouls called, and that's the first booking of the evening. Andreasen pleading his case, but the ball was off of Jordan Day's foot before Andreasen laid a shoulder tackle on Jordan Day. So Sharman waiting to take the free kick. He does so, sending it over the top, looking for Ludwig Erickson. It's headed away by Sam Jones. Nighthawks tried to put it back in, but King able to clear it away. Now Akin for North Georgia. Tries to find Alex Grant and does. Ball's loose. Achimovic trying to get there. Young Harris able to send it downfield, Jordan Day will pick it up. Good pass from Grant to Joyce. Now here's Garcia working it back to Dan Bennett. Bennett sending it over the top. Garcia now chips it, trying to find Alex Grant. But a great job marking by Montanella, sending it out of play. 26th minute gone here in Evans. Achimovic sends it in top of the box. Farrell will take an opportunity. It's blocked. Still loose. Garcia trying it, but it's sent out by Young Harris. Now Andreasen trying to earn possession. Dan Bennett all over the field, and that's a reckless slide tackle. The card coming out. The clock has stopped at 18.36 as they try and get this one figured out. Waiting on our official to give an official word here. He goes over to talk to one of the ARs, one on the near side. Bennett went in with a high slide tackle and a card came out, but was not officially seen. The yellow shown to Gabe Garcia. And then a yellow shown to Dan Bennett. So Bennett with a yellow 
Referee still talking to Gabe Garcia. Don't know that he got the yellow. It may have been shown to 10 in mistake. We'll check on that. So the free kick will come as Bennett is now playing on a yellow. Very physical game we expected and the clock just at 18.20. We should be closing in on halftime, shot is blocked by a Nighthawk. It was a dangerous shot taken by Danny Fisher. North Georgia gets a throw. Joyce throws it in, high in the air, trying to find Grant. It's headed along by Ludwig Erickson. Now here's Akin with the speed. Beats one and then he is fouled as tried to make the corner. So North Georgia will earn a free kick and they'll send numbers forward. Garcia and Day looking to take it. Day sends it in with the left foot. It comes out wide. Joyce chasing it down. And a goal kick is earned. Iglesias will set it down quickly. And then wait on his team to go forward. Ball comes down to the feet of Daniel Bennett. Over the top looking for Garcia. The height of Young Harris is back four. Overwhelms the junior from Brazil. Transfer from Brevard. Gabe Garcia. Now Achimovic giving pressure to Sam Jones. Over the top, Sharman coming well off his line. They tried to target Micheletto on the far side, or rather Andreasen on the far side. Now Macaulay King sends it back, Akin giving pressure, and they'll play it all the way back to Iglesias, will the Mountain Lions. one nothing. We are nearly a half hour of game time into this one. King turns it over to Adam Farrell, the captain for the Nighthawks. And then Joyce turns it right back over. And Farrell will earn a throw. Dan Joyce throws it over the top, headed along by Alex Grant. Ivan Achimovich was there. And Ludwig Erickson will draw the foul elbow in the back of the head. Valfini, the guilty party. And Dan Bennett will come over to take this free kick. Alex Grant goal in the 12th minute. 11.05 into it. The difference so far. Bennett's free kick, a low line drive, sent away by Young Harris. Now here's Achimovic. Does well to stay in play, but his cross with the left foot was left something to be, left something wanting more.
Alex Jack trying to work down the far sideline. Dan Joyce playing defense for North Georgia earns possession. Farrell's pass to him, a rocket that bounces off of Alex Grant's legs and comes flying out of play. Coming up to take the throw is Marlon Montanella, the senior from France. Thirteen and a half minutes to play in the first half. Neither team's had a shot for quite a while. Dan Joyce trying to direct traffic. A lot of white jerseys close by. Over the top, flicked on by Grant, but the foul called. That'll allow North Georgia to set up a set piece, but the ball will be played from their defensive half. Jordan Day this time will come over to take it. Twelve and a half now as Day waiting for players to set up. Sent in, Achimovich pushed away from the ball. Perfectly legal. And then a great touch by Alex Jack, or rather that's Marco Micheletto. To get past Dan Joyce. Now Micheletto in the middle looking for Valfini. For the Nighthawks. Stay back and are able to earn possession, try and get it up to Achimovic. Macaulay King sending it out wide. Mikey Rowe making a run toward the corner and Ball's kept in play by North Georgia. Bennett trying to get it out on the sideline. North Georgia will earn a throw off the deflection. Evan Davis on the far sideline. The one to send it back in play. Acking over the top, working toward Achimovich. Now Young Harris again has it in the middle with Micheletto. Making a great run, Andreas and Sharman coming off his line. He'll get there first, and a penalty kick is going to be awarded. Andreasen got there first, and Sharman commits the foul. Ten thirty six to play and a penalty kick awarded to the Mountain Lions. It'll be Mika Leto to tee it up on the spot. First team all conference goalkeeper in between the posts and Matt Sharman put in a difficult position. He was called for the foul, and now we'll have to defend a PK. Micheletto steps back, approaches, and puts it high over the crossbar. Hands are both on his head. North Georgia reserves excited. Micheletto had a grand opportunity and went a little high. Sharman guessed correctly, but Micheletto went over the crossbar. Young Harris will make a couple of substitutions. Carl Brandstrom and James Thomas will check in for Alex Jack and Mikey Rowe, respectively. Go, 
Clock running at 9.40 now as Sharman will send away the goal kick. Straight out of play and Young Harris being urged on by their sophomore goalkeeper Alex Iglesias. Andreasen with a good touch to a teammate. Young Harris earning a throw. Michael Atkin trying to put pressure on and does. Earns possession. A couple of white jerseys around him. Loses possession, but the ball stays in play as Michael Atkin, the senior from London, transfer from Lake Tahoe Community College, really playing physical on the right side. Here's Achimovic. Good touch to Luda. Luda. And a corner kick is earned by North Georgia. Their first corner of the evening. Gabe Garcia will go and take it. Akin and Joyce stay back. Garcia sends it to Farrell near the top of the 18. Ground ball shot is deflected back toward midfield. Atkins going to send it in from distance, and Iglesias will watch it bounce out of play. North Georgia getting a substitution. It'll be Aaron Ozer, the sophomore from Germany, checking in. Six foot four, that'll add height up top for the Nighthawks to combat with the height that Young Harris has and Josh Poole 6'2", Sam Jones 6'2", and Macaulay King 5'11". Now here's Jordan Day earning possession. Sends it downfield. Garcia will settle for North Georgia. King steals the ball away for the Mountain Lions. Sent in. Great ball by Val Feeney. Bennett almost missed the clearance. Ends up sending it back to Sharman and ball going to be booted in our direction. Seven thirteen now until halftime. Nighthawks clinging to a one nothing lead. Flicked on Marcoletto, Micheletto in the middle rather. It's cleared out by Evan Davis. Another throw in coming. Now Macaulay King will come to take the throw instead of Montanella. King, one of those people who can throw it in right in front of the net. He does so here. Andreasen tries to settle it in the 18. It's cleared out by the Nighthawks. Akin giving pressure. Sent back in by Jones, but booted well downfield by Adam Farrell. Now Garcia pushed in the back. He'll earn the free kick. Jordan Day will be the one to take the free kick. Six minutes just over that to play in the first half. Jordan Day sends it in toward Aaron Ozer. Now Akin works it back to Farrell. Farrell switches the point of attack and Dan Joyce. Ivan Achimovich back to Adam Farrell as the Nighthawks work possession late in the first half. Farrell trying to get it through to Akin. It comes through to him. Akin trying to cross it in and it's deflected straight out of play by Sam Jones. Evan Davis coming all the way up. He'll have to take it from pretty deep in the corner. He throws it in as far as he can. Achimovic trying to get on the other end of it. And Young Harris going to start a counterattack. Here's Andreasen. Out wide, James Thomas. Thomas will send it in in the direction of Micheletto. It's headed out, and Ozer will settle it.
Ball stayed in play, but it's going to roll across the end line for a Nighthawk goal kick. Four and a half minutes left in the first half. North Georgia has weathered the mountain lion storm since the 12th minute. Young Harris has put a lot of pressure on the back line, but North Georgia has answered with pressure as well. Ludwig Erickson can't keep the ball in play. Macaulay King will throw it in deep. Flicked on, but Farrell will settle for North Georgia and find Achimovich. Aaron Ozer can't get the touch to center it. And so Jordan Day will work to hold off the attack. Now Ludwig Erickson tried to find Akin who slipped. Now Garcia gets it out wide to Akin. Here comes the speed from the senior from London. Trying to work it down into the corner. Ozer sends it toward the corner. But it's cleared out by Young Harris. North Georgia earns possession, though, out wide to Davis. Now here's Farrell. He's got space. Not afraid to fire from there. He does, and it's in the net. Adam Farrell has gone left of Alex Iglesias, and North Georgia leads it 2 to nothing as Farrell comes to celebrate with the team. A picture-perfect first half for Pat Paris and the Nighthawks as they lead it 2-0. 2 nothing, North Georgia. As the clock runs, 319 left. Farrell with the 42nd minute goal. Farrell's fourth goal of the season. And North Georgia working it on the counter attack again. Here's Akin. Trying to keep with the ball. Work it forward to Evan Davis. Unable to. Headed along. Young Harris trying to cut the lead in half before half. North Georgia's defense is playing extremely well. Still a lot of time left. Not only in this first half, but also in the second. Now Jordan Day going to start a counterattack from his center back spot. Works it up to Aaron Ozer and will go forward. Achimovich, Ozer, back to Yvonne. Yvonne to Aaron Ozer, gets it through to Dan Joyce. Joyce crosses it across the net, and North Georgia's up three to nothing. Jordan Day. As North Georgia has shell-shocked Young Harris here in the latter parts of this first half. Dan Bennett will come off, Adam Dowdy on. As North Georgia leads it three to nothing. Just over 100 seconds to play here until halftime, and North Georgia is leading 3 to nothing over the 12th ranked nationally Young Harris Mountain Lions. And a foul called, or rather offside called on Young Harris. Jordan Day will take it. 
Jordan's first of the season. Young Harris trying to work it quickly. Under a minute now, Mikoleto throws it in. Here's Achimovic. And a whistle as North Georgia earns a free kick. James Thomas committing the foul. Jordan Day will bring the ball up to the spot. And he'll send it downfield. 30 seconds to play until halftime. Day down into the corner trying to find Garcia. We'll come down to Joyce. Now here's Garcia. Garcia fouled. North Georgia can have an opportunity with 10 seconds left. Luda is going to take it quickly, put it toward goal, and Iglesias punches it out, and that will be how the first half ends. North Georgia couldn't have asked for a better first half against the number 12 ranked and second seeded Mountain Lions of Young Harris. They lead it three to nothing. Goals by Alex Grant, Jordan Day, and Adam Farrell. Two goals scored very late in that first half of play, and North Georgia leads it three to nothing. We'll take a break, be back with second half action right after this. North Georgia three, Young Harris nothing in semifinal number two on the Peach Belt Conference Network.
Second half action about to get underway here in Delon or in Evans between North Georgia and Young Harris as we take a look at some of the first half stats and 11 or a 12th minute goal by Alex Grant for North Georgia. The assist to Michael Atkin, a 42nd minute goal by Adam Farrell, assisted by Gabe Garcia. And a 44th minute goal by Jordan Day, assisted by Dan Joyce. Those are the three goals, three bookings in this contest. One for Saba Andreasen for Young Harris, one for Gabe Garcia and Dan Bennett for the Nighthawks of North Georgia. Fouls 10-8 to eight, as this has been a very chippy game as we expected between these two rivals. We expect nothing less for a second half where Young Harris is going to have to chase a lot. Three to nothing is the score. Young Harris will have the first touch of the second half, but scoring three goals and a half is very difficult, especially the way that North Georgia's defense has played. Carlos Farias having words with both captains before we get underway here in the second half of play. Five shots for the Mountain Lions in the first half, four for North Georgia, three on goal, and all three found the back of the net. Matt Sharman with one save and a penalty kick opportunity for Young Harris went awry. All the momentum on North Georgia's side. Young Harris going to try and quickly get one back. They move up the field very quickly. Sharman coming off of his line and snatching it out of thin air. Here's Evan Davis for North Georgia. Flicked on by Garcia to Ozer. Ozer trying to weave through the defense of Young Harris. Iglesias clears it out to Farrell. Farrell, nice ball down into the corner to Garcia. Garcia finds Ozer. Ozer across net. It's sent out by a touch. Otherwise, North Georgia had a great opportunity with Ludwig Erickson. Mika Leto earns possession for Young Harris. Now, here's Montanella. Hidaney to Micheletto. Now in the middle, Danny Fisher sends it back to Alex Jack, or rather James Thomas. Off the head of Akin, it comes out of play. Young Harris with a throw. Triggering it in, Hidaney. Or rather, he'll leave it for Fisher. Hidaney gets it, and Fisher down the sideline. Good ball to Hidaney. But Sharman comes out and falls on it. Sharman boots it away. Achimovic turns it over. Now Adam Dowdy will boot it high into the air and out of play. North Georgia earning a throw. We are just over two minutes and 20 seconds into this second half of play. North Georgia leads by three. As Evan Davis heads it back toward midfield, trying to give the back line a break as Young Harris has put pressure on quickly here in the second half. Fisher, marked by Atkin, he'll have to send it back to Thomas. And Thomas all the way back to Iglesias, who directs traffic. 
Macaulay King over the top. Achimovich with a touch, a little heavy, and Hidaini comes up with it. Great ball out wide. Here's Micheletto working it into the 18 against Akin and Davis, and the Nighthawks converge and earn possession, and then a foul called on Micheletto. It'll be a free kick for North Georgia, and The Nighthawks content to take their time. They lead three to nothing, and if the result holds, in just a little over 40 hours, the Nighthawks would take on Lander in the championship matchup on Sunday. Very, a fairly quick turnaround. Should the result hold, as the foul again called on Young Harris, Garcia will place it down. Garcia sends it in, back post toward Ozer, and a corner kick is earned by the Nighthawks. Garcia will go all the way across the field to take it. North Georgia took Young Harris to double overtime in the first meeting this season. Young Harris with a 103rd minute goal to win that match. Dowdy's header trying to get it back to the near post and it goes out of play. Young Harris gonna quickly take the goal kick but the Clock will stop at 40.04. To check on the mountain lion that was down, that was Micheletto, but he is just fine. Iglesias sends it downfield. Aaron Ozer can't hold off the mountain lions. Great quick passing by Young Harris in very limited space. Hedaini gives it off to Fisher. And the Mountain Lions again working it up the field. In behind is Mikey Rowe. He dribbles into the 18, looking to get it up top. And now a long shot from Micheletto. Ground ball. Sharman will be unable to keep it in play. A corner kick earned. Making the long run to the far corner. Danny Fisher. The 6-1 defender, freshman from Austria. A lot of bumping inside the box already. And Carlos Farias yelling in, trying to settle it down. Corner kick short. Garcia heads it back out. Fisher will send it right back in. Sharman high points it and keeps it out of the net. Rolled out quickly, Jordan Day will send it down the far sideline. Montanella comes up with it for the Mountain Lions. North Georgia's never led Young Harris by a three-goal margin, led by two last year in the regular season. They now have a three-goal advantage over Young Harris. In the middle, Daney tries to send it out wide. North Georgia swarms quickly. Dan Joyce earns a throw. Now a young Harris throw. As there's a huge sense of urgency for the Mountain Lions. Joyce straight out of play actually hit the assistant referee on the far side. 
Just bounced off the arm. Macaulay King's going to throw this one in. He finds Micheletto inside the 18. It comes back out. Cross is deflected. Ball still in play, working in the corner. Stayed in. Deflected out of the six. Ozer trying to get there. Young Harris gives it to Hidaney, who takes a shot. It goes wide right. Young Harris players giving... Hidaney, a round of applause is it's a first good look in a while for the Mountain Lions. 36-30 to play in regulation here in the final semifinal of the Peach Belt Conference soccer tournaments. Columbus and Flat Columbus and UNC Pembroke in the women's final is a foul or a whistle, Achimovich down. Actually, that's Garcia who went down. He'll have to come off for a moment, Will Gabe Garcia. Young Harris will boot it downfield to Sharman. As Garcia had possession before the head-to-head -head contact. Now Akin coming out toward the near sideline, trying to work up the sideline. He turns it over. Micheletto earns a throw. Over the top, Evan Davis heads it. Now Garcia can't keep it in play. Danny Fisher will throw it in this time for the Mountain Lions. A good ball sent into space, but Adam Dowdy is the only player around for North Georgia or Young Harris. Ozer giving chase, trying to pressure McCauley King. He'll play it back to Iglesias, who will send one high and deep. Ivan Achimovich out wide, Dan Joyce. Joyce finds Ivan Achimovich trying to get it across frame the same way that Joyce did earlier to score the third goal for the Nighthawks. It was thwarted, and here comes Young Harris on the counter. Micheletto sends it out wide, and North Georgia concedes a corner. Waiting on numbers to come forward for Young Harris, and they finally do. High in the air, coming toward the back post. And a foul called on the Mountain Lions. It gives North Georgia an opportunity to substitute. Alex Grant goes in for Aaron Ozer. Ozer with some great minutes for Coach Pat Paris. Sharman sends the free kick downfield. Over the top, Sharman will wait on pressure before picking up 
The ball is close to the end line as he can get. And then he'll punt it away. High in the air and right in front of the fans in the bleachers. And a hard foul as North Georgia will earn a free kick. Sent in quickly and Iglesias comes off his line. And Alex Grant will be booked. So Grant Bennett and Garcia all playing on yellows for North Georgia. 32-27 to play. North Georgia still has the three nothing advantage. Iglesias slips on the free kick, but still goes across midfield. Akin giving chase. He deflects the long ball in the direction of Jordan Day. Now here's Adani getting it at the top of the box. Now out wide, Micheletto. He'll dribble it into the 18, try and fire one across frame, but it's high over everyone. Mark McKeever consulting with Dean Gray and Damian Westfield. The young Harris bench. Getting close to time to start making tactical moves with a three goal deficit and nearly a half hour to play. Grant giving a lot of pressure, forcing Iglesias to play quickly. Now over the top trying to get it to Micheletto. Charmin will take it off the bounce and roll it out wide to the far side of the field and Jordan Day. Day over the top. Trying to flick it on was Grant and the offside flag goes off. Free kick taken quickly. Garcia drops it back for Joyce, trying to get it over the top to Akin. Now Michael Akin and Adam Farrell, a little miscommunication. They ran into each other. Young Harris comes away with it. So we approach a half hour to play here in Evans at Blanchard Woods Park. Winner gets to take on Regular season champion Lander Bearcats Sunday afternoon and 3.30 right here at Blanchard Woods Park. Here's Akin for North Georgia. Trying to work through some contact. It's headed straight out by Dowdy. Feeney sends it out wide. Young Harris trying to find the first one. North Georgia sends it all the way back. Iglesias some 30 yards outside of goal. Passes it out to Poole and Grant got hit in the stomach. And a foul called on Farrell. Alex Grant still wincing in pain.
Ball sent back, shot taken. Sharman will see it out. Feeney was the one who fired it. Still watching Alex Grant. He may have jammed a finger or something. Rami Bakey comes up to Pat Paris to try and get a sub. So Bakey comes on to replace Grant. Sharman will take the goal kick. Headed by Alex Jack and it comes back down to the junior from France. Cross coming in, it's headed out by Evan Davis. Danger not avoided yet. As Macaulay King tries to send it in, it'll bounce and skip across the end line. 27-20. Sabal Andreasen getting set to check back in for Young Harris. Nice back heel touch by Mika Leto. Mikey Rowe finds Feeney, and Feeney's shot bounces right into the waiting arms of the first team all conference goalkeeper, Matt Sharman. Evan Davis. His ball gets all the way through. Gabe Garcia chasing it, and it has to be cleared straight out of play by Josh Poole. So Evan Davis will jog all the way up to take the throw. Davis throwing it into the 18, ball bounced around, and finally cleared out by Danny Fisher. Here's Jack. Working past Achimovic, the foul going to be called on the senior from Belgrade. Young Harris quickly putting it back in play. Mikey Rowe on the far side. And unable to get there before Dan Joyce. Quickly thrown in. Goes out of play and Saba Andreasen will get to jog on for Young Harris. Replacing Hidaney. And another foul by North Georgia. Gives Young Harris a great opportunity at a free kick. Twenty-four forty-seven. Young Harris with a lot of numbers forward. Short free kick taken. Jack tried to send one in, but he was deflected by a North Georgia player. Corner kick earned. Coming in from the far corner. Headed away by Jordan Day. Another cross sent in. It goes over everyone. Staying in play, though. Young Harris with another opportunity to cross it in. Third time's a charm for the Mountain Lions to have an attempt at the goal. But it was thwarted by the Nighthawks. Danger not averted. Danny Fisher tries his cross. It's deflected. Achimovic comes away with it. North Georgia moving quickly. Michael Akin. With a counterattack, he's got Rami Bakey. 
up there with him, as well as Gabe Garcia, who sends it out wide to Dan Joyce. And now North Georgia will work some possession. Luda gives it out wide to Dan Joyce. Now back to Carl Ludwig Erickson. And it's finally cleared away by the Mountain Lions. They'll attempt to start a counter. Macaulay King triggers it out wide. Now Macaulay King again, they play advantage. Michael Atkins steps in to concede a throw in with 22-45. North Georgia three, 12th ranked Young Harris nothing. Crossing it in is James Thomas. Day gets ahead on it, comes to Andreasen, who's trying to settle it, the freshman Turns it over to Jordan Day. Day to Achimovic. Achimovic trying to play it over the top to Rami Bakey. Bakey trying to get there. But cutting him off was the young Harris defender and Josh Poole. Iglesias sends it out of play with 22 minutes left. Achimovic can't keep it in play, but earns a throw. Trying to get a shot there was Evan Davis, or rather that was Carl Ludwig Erickson. Hard to tell who some of these players are when you can't see Numbers on the front of the jerseys. Black numbers on the blue fading to gray. You can see the black just fine on the back of the jerseys, but it's hard to see on the front. And from this distance, it's hard to see facial features either. Throw in earned by the Mountain Lions. Young Harris is Macaulay King waiting to trigger it in and does. Evan Davis gets the header. It's settled, though, by James Thomas. Now Michael Akin avoids a few defenders. He'll show off his speed here, but he's taken off the ball by Val Feeney. Now out wide, Micheletto. Macaulay King to Micheletto, and Akin concedes a throw. Carlos Farias, our center official, letting the teams play a little bit here in the second half. As it's settled down quite a bit. A foul called there on Michael Akin after slide tackle clipped him. Nighthawks set up a two-person wall, Garcia and Akin. Andreasen working right at the end line in front of Keeper. Back post, it's not converted as the header had to come back in play instead of on frame. It'll still be a young Harris throw as Carl Ludwig Erickson just cleared it out. Now jogging all the way over Josh Poole, he'll take the throw in. 19 minutes exactly to play in regulation here. The Nighthawks lead it three to nothing. Jordan Day clears it out. And then Daniel Joyce boots it away. Get 
Young Harris calls a foul. And the clock will stop at 18.25 as Carl Ludwig Erickson still trying to get up after he was clipped. He's a bit gimpy, but he'll be okay. Matt Sharman will come up to take this free kick some 35, 40 yards outside of goal. And a throw in earned by Young Harris. Rather foul called. And now Iglesias will come up to take the free kick. High in the air, flicked on by Andreas and Evan Davis boots it straight up in the air. Ball still loose inside the 18. Val Feeney tries to chip it over. It's sent away by Jordan Day. Bakey trying to send it up into the corner. And Rami earns the foul for North Georgia. Evan Davis sends it toward Michael Akin. North Georgia with Farrell now. They try and work some quick passes to Find some space. Akin tries to switch it over toward Achimovic. You know, Harris comes away with it. Alex Jack working on the far side, sending it up in the direction of Andreasen. Joyce sees it out for North Georgia conceding the throw. Here's Feeney to Montanella. Fisher crosses it in, headed back toward the middle of the box. But North Georgia clears its lines. Farrell finds Ludwig Erickson. Now Rami Bakey giving chase and pulling up with a cramp or pulling a hamstring there, hard to tell. Josh Poole, he pulled up hard with 16.08 to play in regulation. Training staff for Young Harris coming on to the field. And it will give both teams a, an opportunity to get a drink of water and both coaches to pass some tactics onto the field for the final quarter hour. One o'clock on Sunday, it's Columbus versus Pembroke in the women's final for the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. And then at 3.30, Lander will take on the winner of this one. Carl Brandstrom looks to be coming on. He'll replace Josh Poole. When Poole comes off the field... Coach Paris passing along information to Rami Bakey, Michael Akin, while Mark McKeever gives some words of advice to Macaulay King and Val Feeney. We see Macaulay King has moved up top with Andreasen. King mainly having played on the back line for most of this match, but mentioned those tactical changes that are going to need to be made for Young Harris as they trail three to nothing in the Peach Belt Conference semifinals. Young Harris 12th in the nation. A loss here would not likely knock them out of the tournament. They are highly ranked in the southeast region.
But a win here for North Georgia will keep their season alive to Sunday, needing the win in the championship match to get the automatic bid to get in as they have not been ranked in the Southeast region. Akin trying to earn possession for North Georgia. As the Nighthawks are playing right now without Alex Grant or Daniel Bennett, two of the leaders for this Nighthawk team. On the bench right now, both with yellows. Gabe Garcia playing right now with the yellow as well. Good quick passing by the Mountain Lions. Micheletto gives it down into the corner. Macaulay King. King guarded by Ludwig Erickson. King sends it all the way back to Fisher. Fisher back down into the corner. James Thomas marked by Akin crossing it in. Andreasen couldn't get around on the shot. Ball at the top of the 18. North Georgia trying to clear its lines and does with Ivan Achimovic. And Montanello will play it all the way back to Iglesias. A quarter hour to play. Here's Jordan Day. Day over the top trying to get it to Gabe Garcia. It'll be about yards too far for the junior transfer from Brevard. There's Farrell sending it to the back line of Young Harris and Danny Fisher. He'll Send it right back up top. As Young Harris has had a few good opportunities here in the second half, but the North Georgia defense has limited their shots. And Matt Sharman has played well for the Nighthawks. Mateus Abreu getting set to check in for North Georgia. Mateus, freshman from Sao Paulo, transfer from Northeastern Oklahoma A&M. Jordan Day will send it down to Ivan Achimovic, who has some space and will take it upfield. Centering it and now coming out wide to Michael Akin. Akin does a great job to beat his defender. And he will go wide right as the ball did not bend for the senior transfer from Lake Tahoe Community College. A brew on. He'll replace Gabe Garcia. A brew, a more defensive midfielder, although he has scored three or four goals this season. For Coach Pat Paris' team, 13 minutes to play. Young Harris still trying to find their first. Here's James Thomas, who tried to send it out wide, but North Georgia comes up with it. Now Montanella. Working it up the far side. And Jordan Day clears North Georgia's line again. North Georgia going to try and make one more substitution at least. There's 12 minutes to play. They're trying to get as many fresh legs in with, until the five-minute mark when the clock would stop on every possession for North Georgia. Here's Michael Akin with the speed. The flag will go up on Rami Bakey. Free kick taken. It's a low line drive. Yeah. 
as Mateus Abreu was trying to draw a foul and start a counter at the same time. Long ball comes in, Andreas and gets ahead on it, still loose. Evan Davis just heads it out to the side to allow for the defense to reset. Danny Fisher will cross it in from distance. Andreasen tried to flick it toward goal, but Sharman will watch it roll out of play. A couple of subs for both teams. Connor Stanley for the Mountain Lions, the junior from England, transfer from Thomas University. A former Nighthawk of his own from the NAIA level for North Georgia, Aaron Ozer checks back in. Replacing Rami Bakey. Ten ten to play here in the second half. North Georgia trying to reach its first Conference Tournament Championship match in program history. Ivan Achimovich trying to play it through to Aaron Ozer and playing it well off of his line, Alex Iglesias. He'll punt it well downfield, try and start a quick counter. Adam Dowdy plays it extremely well on the defensive side for North Georgia, keeping Macaulay King off the ball. Now Achimovich. North Georgia on the far side, Mateus Abreu gives it to Jordan Day, and Day will just send it downfield trying to get Aaron Ozer, but Iglesias will come off his line and clear it away. Dowdy goes down to all fours to head that one. Michael Atkin keeps the ball. No, he did not keep it in play. Young Harris will earn a throw. Stanley gets it back in quickly. And then a turnover, a brew. Pulled from behind. And Mikey Rowe did not have a good reaction to his own turnover. So a brew will stand over it and then leave it for Jordan Day as the Nighthawks will let a few seconds tick away. Day trying to send it out wide for Akin. Akin gets the first touch. Now Ozer going to give it a run against Connor Stanley. Charmin can't keep the ball in play. Young Harris will earn a throw. Under eight minutes to play now as Akin running back up or running back downfield quickly. Coming up quickly is Brandstrom trying to get past Achimovich. Brandstrom with possession. Now it's out wide. Cross getting ready to come in. Headed away. Shot taken, it's blocked by Farrell. As the Nighthawk defense has frustrated this high-powered Young Harris offense. Jordan Day finds Akin off the header, but Akin turns it over. North Georgia has seven minutes left to weather. A brew clears off the line. Young Harris right back in. Danny Fisher. Great touch out wide. Connor Stanley and Evan Davis comes up big this time on the Nighthawk defense. The sophomore from Griffin. Clears the line. Aaron Ozer giving chase. They'll play it back to Iglesias with six and a half to play. Now Brandstrom with a lot of green grass in front of him. He'll send a long ball 
Flicked on by Micheletto. Luda gives it back to Joyce. Now Joyce will bring it up. Finding a brew in the middle. A brew out wide to Akin who can't get his leg up high enough. Micheletto. Mikey Rowe as they work it around the back line. North Georgia dropping numbers back. And Luda will play it back to Matt Sharman who will touch it once and then send it straight out of play. Coming on to throw it quickly, Fisher. He'll toss it back to Micheletto. Now Marco a little bit behind him. He has it inside the 18, and North Georgia's defense stands strong. A brew up top to Ozer. Now Achimovic gives it to Michael Akin. It's one-on-one -on -one Akin and Iglesias. But Akin overran the ball as Danny Fisher will be able to come up with it. North Georgia three, Young Harris nothing. We're under five minutes to play. Micheletto sending it out wide, but again, the Nighthawk defense, right place, right time, and now they'll possess. Here's Evan Davis, Young Harris chasing. Akin trying to keep it in play, he does. Gives it up top to Ozer. Numbers forward for North Georgia to try and keep the ball on this side of the field. Here's a brew. He'll send it out wide. Achimovic finds Ludwig Erickson. Now Yvonne again inside the 18, crossing it over toward Ozer. It's cleared off, but Adam Farrell, he'll tee it up from distance. Iglesias right there. Young Harris with Andreasen trying to send it out wide, but North Georgia will earn the throw. And Evan Davis will take his time, three and a half minutes to play. Ozer trying to hold off Fisher. He gave up the ball to Micheletto. Now Andreasen out wide. Stanley trying to cross it in, and the ball will be cleared out as Adam Dowdy heads it away. Mikey Rowe gives it off to Danny Fisher. It's not been Young Harris's night here at Blanchard Woods Park as Fisher, his shot was easily saved there by Matt Sharman. Young Harris's season not over in the slightest. Number 12 team in the nation. Hard to think that they won't get an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament. North Georgia keeps their season alive for one more night. And gives themselves an opportunity at the automatic bid. They'll have another tough test on Sunday, taking on the regular season champion, Lander Bearcats. But North Georgia put up three goals in the first half. A 12th minute goal by Alex Grant. A 42nd minute goal by, Gabe, or by Adam Farrell. And a 44th minute goal by Jordan Day. As that ball will roll harmlessly across the end line as we wind down into a minute 45. All three goals were assisted. Akin on Grants, Garcia on Farrells, and Joyce assists on Jordan Day's first goal of the year. A number of bookings in this match. I don't think North Georgia's taken 
more than one or two shots this half. Young Harris has controlled the second half in terms of possession, but do not have a goal to show for it. Iglesias coming all the way out to midfield to take this free kick. High in the air, trying to find Andreasen. Still loose, and the shot one minute, one minute to play. by Connor Stanley goes over the crossbar. North Georgia will improve to 10-7 and seven on the year. Another 10-win season for Pat Paris' squad. Young Harris to 11-3-2. And they'll await the selection show Monday night. 30 seconds to play. Iglesias sends it downfield. And Evan Davis will come over to take the throw in. Won't take many more of those. As another throw in will be earned by the Nighthawks, a brew will come and take it. Well, he'll leave it for Davis. And North Georgia pulls off the upset, taking down 12th ranked Young Harris and advancing to Sunday's championship match against the Lander Bearcats at 3.30 on Sunday afternoon. Again, goals by Alex Grant, Adam Farrell, and Jordan Day give the Nighthawks a big win to advance to the championship game. That's the most important side of it, but North Georgia earning a split in the Battle of Blood Mountain so far against Young Harris. They will have a half point unless the two sides meet again later on in the postseason. So your final score, North Georgia three, Young Harris nothing. Join us Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. as the Columbus State Cougars take on the UNC Pembroke Braves in the women's final at 1 p.m. And then Lander and Young and North Georgia will do Peach Belt Conference Championship battle at 3.30 right back here at Blanchard Woods Park. Until then, we say good night from Evans. The finals are on Sunday right here on the Peach Belt Conference Network.